much better. So that's just sort of, um, you know, a modified, moderated yellow. And I'm going to hold that up next to the original swatch of the Cad Yellow Deep. So you can see, let me do this over here. You can see the differences. Let me also put my palette knife down and not clutch everything in my hands as I so often do. So you can sort of see, you know, it's, this is just much lighter and, you know, just a softer, softer yellow. So, you know, that's, you know, we'll do it with the orange too. I just wanted to give you the idea of the kind of adjustments that you're going to want to think about making um, while you paint because we're really, you know, we're moving into color for the first time. So we want to be sort of precise about things. Darker part of the background. I'm going to go into my cat orange right into the cat orange and then back into the dark background color. And this is just going to be my shadow for that side of the orange. So like here, so it's much, much warmer than the background color, but still very related to it, still built on it, um, which is what I wanted. And I'm leaving a little space on the edge because there's going to be a little bit of reflected light there. Um, but here I'm just bringing that shadow color all the way around. I'll throw a little bit of it where that nub is. And then maybe I'll get a little bit more in the cat orange and just bring a little heat to that shadow here. And that's just where you can start having a good time. Be a nice little contrast to all the cool background that's happening. And I'm going to take my uh, size 4 slap, flat brush that I was just using in the yellow and I'm going to dip it into that orange color we mixed when we did the mixing for this painting. And it looks so, so bright now, but we'll knock it down a little bit. Just bringing that in. Connecting it to the shadow, building the volume of this shape. And here I might get into my cat orange a little bit more and start doing a little bit of that connecting too. It's hard for me to tell how the shape is looking because I'm so far on the side, but we'll just, we'll see how it goes. Uh, okay, so let me just fling in more of this orange. And kind of get into the cat orange a little bit. Warm it up a little bit. And sort of, I'm just going to finish drawing my circle so I know which way I'm going. I'm actually going to work it, start kind of over here and get some of that reflected light happening. But really we're going to cool down that, um, that reflected light because it's reflecting off that background that is so much cooler. And get it here. Nothing happening. I want more paint on here, really. We have an orange emerging. I think my nubbin's in the wrong spot, so maybe I'll move that a little bit. I'm just gonna actually start from scratch on that one. A little bit more cat orange. So here's my real bright. And let's see, I'm going to bring my shadow color back in a little bit further over here. I'm going to blend into that orange line I left on the outside for just that little bit of, little tiny bit of reflected light. Don't go overboard with that. It is very seductive. You don't want to fall into that trap because it's subtle. And I'm going to just start blending this in, blending my light into my shadow. Going to bring in more cat orange because I'm getting a little bit because I still have that background color on this brush. This is getting a little bit green gray, and I actually want a little bit of green because that's a contrast to all of the like yellow orange we're working with, but I don't want it to be too much. 